Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix uh, a MS, uh, svcp140.dll uh, error on GT5. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, open up your favorite browser, and then you need to go to dll-files.com, and then you need to find find your DLL file. In my case, this one. And then what you need to do here is to download 64-bit uh, version and 32-bit version. So let's download it as you can see here it will take you a few seconds to download it as you can see now we can save to our desktop and let's save it to desktop and then go back and download 32-bit version here and again we need to wait for a few seconds and then save it to desktop and once we do that then we should get this these two files and what you need to do here is to uh, rename it these uh, files uh, so you can uh, cannot get confused so this one is 62 a 64 bit version and this one is 32 right 32 and what you need to do here next is to just extract these files to your computer to your desktop extract all and then let's make it to um, desktop so this one and then do the same with a 64 bit version here right and once you uh, do that then you should see uh, basically uh, this dll file so what we need to do here next is to open up your disk c uh, disk c and then you need to go to windows and then you need to look for uh, system 32 right it should be somewhere here system32 so you can uh, delete extracted files so we cannot get confused and then what you need to do here is to basically drag it the these two files to system32 folder and to do so you just need to open up one and drag it to system32 replace it and continue then do the same with a, a 64 version here just drag it and continue right and after you do so then you need to go back on windows here and then you need to uh, look for syswow 64 here and you need to basically do the same you need to drag it to these two files as you can see here already copied um, you need to drag these two files to system wow 64 right and after you do so uh, another thing that you need to do here you need to go to installed apps and then you need to find, um, as you can see here, on the bottom should be a visual, a Microsoft Visual C++. And what you need to do here, uh, as you can see here, I have a lot of them, but you need to just uh, press modify. And then this will uh, appear, and then you just need to press repair, right? And after that, restart your computer uh, when you do with all of them, and your problem should be... Uh, fixed all right so that's pretty much it and if if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye